Okay folks, I found this by the side of the road and the footpath. This should be an interesting one, hopefully. This will be a challenging one, potentially. A tricky one, perhaps. Yeah, we're going full colour. Okay, let's see what this challenging piece is. It is something off a, off a car, an automotive grill of some descript, some kind of automotive grill. I don't know where it comes from. I'm not a car person. So we're just going to slip and slide that around. Yeah, that's come up looking a treat, actually. That's come up looking really close to ideal for this kind of original. So, I don't know what to do with it, just to throw it away. It was found, so I've given it, you could say, a new lease on life before discarding it. Now we're just going to spin it. Yeah, that's come up looking a treat actually. I do like this little section here. Uh, I do think we could do more work on it. that aside and we're just going to use this one as our next master copy. Yeah, stabilizing image, please wait. Sorry folks, it's the way the photocopy of rut works, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's come up looking quite nice now. I don't know where I'm going to use, which part I'm going to utilise. Uh, I do like the brightness of this. This part could indeed be a good piece to work with i was thinking there as well there but i think this stands out better so we're just going to set this up and we're just going to put this aside with this one and we're just going to take the section and enlarge it and make it into a mirror piece mirror image so we're just taking this section here so we're putting it upside down Okay, that's that. Now we just have to work on which enlargement we're going to use. Not a hundred. Hundred? Yeah, that looks really quite interesting. I see we still got a bit of a void there. 
that we got from there, so we're going to have to enlarge it just a little bit. Um, horizontal enlargement. Uh, no, we don't want that. Yeah, we've still got a little bit of that bit there. So we're just going to enlarge that off a little bit further. Yeah, there's just a tiny little smidge, but you can't really notice that. Maybe we could enlarge it a little bit more. Maybe we can get a bit more, you know, perfectionistic about it. Uh, maybe make it 277. Although it's not perfect, folks. Just let me clarify, I don't believe that perfect is a word to describe anything in this material world. It's only applicable to the afterlife. And then that's it. Every other use of the word, and you can just see a little bit there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to worry about it. I think I'm just going to leave it. It's not a perfect world we live in, folks. Uh, just accept that we can't be perfect in this world however much we'd like to we'd like to believe that there is a perfection there isn't um, maybe the words near perfect could be applicable to some things uh, but perfect is not a word to describe what goes on the things of this world the people the, anything anything that exists in this world is never going to be perfect. I'm actually going to thinking pulling it up or not I'm trying to I'm trying to get I'm just thinking maybe that little corner should be annihilated but I don't know if it's really a problem I am an artist and I do get highly critical of my own art practices when I don't do things as well as I should I get angry angry at myself angry that I didn't push it harder and made it more close to perfect as possible so still I am what would be classified as a perfectionist even though I don't believe perfection actually exists and I acknowledge that my artwork or in this world is not perfect so and that's come up looking quite a treat I think now we can call this demo can we call it quits or can we make what's known as a switcheroo a switcheroo? I'm going to make a switcheroo, folks, because I might miss something uh, good and I'll get angry at myself. But i got a feeling this switcheroo isn't going to be much of a switcheroo. But often when I don't make a switcheroo, I get regrets and I get really, really, really angry at myself and, and what I've created. Anyway, that's come up looking quite interesting, but no, it's not a switcheroo. It's not switcheroo material. <sighs> Gotta go.